Hey, thanks for joining me. Love Them Knives channel. This is LTK. Got a knife. Interesting knife. You know, sometimes I don't appreciate uh, what's out there until I have somebody kind of tap me on the shoulder and make a request. So I've got a buddy, Frank, up in uh, upstate New York, up near the Buffalo area, and he said, hey, could you... Uh, could you get me a fox knife? It's a Terzola design. Come out of there. And I want the wooden handle. And I got him the wooden handle. And I said, you want the bar coat or the Zeracote? <laughs> Zeracot. Whatever you, you pronounce that. And he, he wanted this Zeracot. So this is the 515W. W stands for wood. So it's a model 515 and this is a Terzuola design, Bob Terzuola. And this is a backspacer that's made of G10. But the wooden scales are beautiful. I mean, this came in, I would have never thought to get a knife like this. Uh, and if you look at Fox knives, uh, like on Blade HQ or wherever, and you go Terzuola design, Fox knives, it'll come up with a bunch of different ones, different blade shapes different handle materials this one doesn't have a pocket clip on it and i understand why first of all this is a gentleman's folder it's fairly light for its size it's like right at eight inches overall it comes with this leather sheath and boy italians in leather right wow this is really nice it smells good it, this is really a quality sheath fits on your belt. It's really strange. I mean, if you look at the shape on this, you know how the knife goes in. So it's a liner lock. There's your lock up about 50%. Pretty good lock up. Pretty strong liners in here. Okay, you got a stay, uh, satin blade. It's, uh, oh, by the way, come here. Uh, N690CO. Maniago, Italy, and there's the Terzola moniker, logo, his design. Isn't that wood pretty, though? So I guess the Zeracote, uh, Zeracote wood is uh, native to Mexico and down in through uh, part of Central America, that kind of thing. Wow, nicely done, no, pretty knife. Gentleman's folder, not terribly heavy. Let's get a weight on it before we go jacking around with the sheath. You know, you got this thumb disc on top. 3.4 ounces, okay, yeah. What can I say, 97 grams. Okay, yeah, light and lively. Yes, it is. No pocket clip, like I said before. This pouch. Now, here's the deal. Okay, so you can see the bottom of this sheath. So you know the knife goes in like this. Right? Okay, so it slides in like this. It doesn't go this other way because this is that's not right. You're at odd angles here. So it goes like this. Well... If you put it on your belt and you're right-handed, then your belt goes through here and, you know, you got this big old snap here. So you can unsnap this thing and then put it over your belt and snap it into place so you don't have to take your belt and slide it through there necessarily. You can just unsnap this if you want. Okay, so in any case, so you're a right-hander Okay, and you're right-handed, and you want to pull, that's facing outward. This is towards the belt, obviously. You pull the knife out, the blade is facing backwards. So you got to rotate the knife to open it. Now, uh, you know, is that a big, big damn deal? Um... No, I guess I would have 
thought about, you know, if you're a lefty, actually, it works better, doesn't it? Because it's already facing forward. Yeah. If you're a lefty, it actually works better. Uh, so if you're a lefty and you got a thumb disc and you don't have to worry about the pocket clip being right or left-handed, this knife probably works for you better. Right? It's facing, and this is a friction kind of slide, but it slides in. I mean, it this it's not coming out, okay? On the other hand, this is not really a tactical knife anyhow. This is a nice EDC gentleman carry. Put this, slide this on your belt. It's really elegant, pretty knife. I mean, it's not going to like freak anybody out that you walked in with this sheath on your on your belt. It's actually a pretty classy look. And you know, with this wood scales, you really want that presentation on both sides. Now, you can get the 515 with G10 or full titanium, and then they come with pocket clips and not this. It's this wood and that Barcote, B-A-R-C-O-T-E wood that comes uh, with the leather sheath. But wow, what a nice leather sheath. Whew. Real classy look. And Frank, he wanted the wood. He wanted this Zircot wood. I go, okay. You know, your wish is my command. So, nice jimping up here. And that's effective. The thumb disc, you kind of got this fuller that runs this length. And this is like a reverse Tonto or modified sheep's foot or something um, blade. So, that's interesting. Like I said, satin grind. Good looking knife overall. Um, you know, you do have these screws in here. So there is, you know, I mean, you got to have one somewhere around here. Looks like you got a little cutaway in here and a post that doesn't go all the way through. It fits in the liners, you know, um, for a lanyard. So how about that? That's cool. Not really, you probably wouldn't throw a big old 550 paracord in there. Probably something slender, a slender piece of, of leather and then braid it up, you know, that kind of thing. Something a little classier, just saying. But, you know, really, this knife is, you know, if you see the thumb disc here, okay, so then it doesn't really have the cutaways and stuff to really be able to just flip it straight out it's more and you know some of these knives are positioned to where you can push straight up and it goes out but on this one you're kind of pushing out at an angle like that it's more out and up when you deploy it but you know it's got these really smooth what i'm thinking are bronze washers and, uh, you know, at first when you get it out, it's a little stiff and it doesn't take long um, because I haven't had this knife for very long because I want to get it to its rightful owner. But I just wanted to get a little airtime on it just so you guys can kind of maybe discover with me what's going on here. Oh, let me show you some other stuff. Hold on. I was going to show you another. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the knife, you know, comes in this plastic and then they slide it in the sheath and it goes in the box with this paperwork. Okay, so you got all this, which is cool, classy. I mean, I've got the Fox knives, Desert Fox, this blue titanium anodized with Damasteel blade. Oh my God, that thing is just incredible. It's incredible and it's incredibly expensive. Okay, so, but this knife also comes with this tool. So you get the tool for the hardware. Hey, I mean, do you really need a Torx? Well, probably not, but it's nice that they include it. So that's cool too. I mean, I just think it's classy all the way around. Oh, look at that. Ah, 
This is so nice. Let's get the box out of here a little bit. Kind of the black background kind of makes it tough. In any case, so here was the label on the end, but I'm not I'm not understanding this whole deal because yeah, I, if you look at the paperwork, you know that this is a 515W. Okay, so I I'm not getting why I'm not seeing 515W on this. In any case, uh, here's your your stats, and this is the Zircot wood satin. They call it Tanto. Um, okay. My, I mean, think reverse Tanto, I've heard it called, that kind of thing. And then these are your specs. And it's the three and a half inch blade. You know, not quite eight inches overall. Stainless, you know, the N690CO. Good, good steel there. And then this is your pause and read, the Zircot wood uh, or Zircote, um native to uh, Mexico, Central America. And it's, you know, it's elegant. Yes, it is. But if you don't care about that, but you like the Terzol uh, design with the Fox knives, then you've got titanium. You've got a different type of blade shape. And that's the Barcote, B-A-R-C-O-T-E wood. Other designs with Fox knives and Terzuola. And this is that black G10 one that comes with a pocket clip. So it looks a lot like this one. And then, you know, you've got Damascus option. You've got other knives that he's designed with Fox knives. So, or for Fox knives. So that's interesting. So it's not, you don't have to just like settle for, well, no pocket clip and you have to get wood handles or you have to necessarily get this blade shape. So you got choices, Damascus or stainless. You got uh, titanium frame lock with the pocket clip, uh, G10 with a pocket clip, uh, blacked out, uh, not blacked out. <laughs> a lot of different choices. And, you know, you got to kind of wake up and join the world. It's hard to stay on top of all the different types of knives out there. And so, Frank, thanks for, you know, bringing my attention to these knives. Because, you know what? This is really a nice light carry. And I saw somebody do a video on uh, this knife was included in a group of five as favorite EDC carries. And I can't remember if it was GP Knives or some other place, but I think it was a knife seller online. And they did a little video of like five favorite EDCs. And this knife was one of them. Or the Fox Knife 515 was one of them. So, wow, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I'm, I'm just discovering this myself, so join the, join the fun. There you go, three and a half inch, so like a uh, 90 millimeter length blade, just right, really close to eight inches overall, just shy of it. So a little over 20 centimeters long blade stock. Um... It looks adequate and heavy for this. So it's three millimeters. Okay. So probably a 0 0.11, uh, 0 0.114. There you go. 0.115 of an inch overall. But it, it looks adequately heavy for this knife, doesn't it? And you've got pretty good reinforcement on that tip. So that's nice. Stop pin, blade stop, and of course that's buried into those stainless liners, so that's well supported. And it's pretty good size, isn't it? For as light and nice as this knife is, although you're talking about a three and a half inch. Now, this is eight inches or just shy of overall eight inches. The Manix is eight and a quarter overall. So it's just a little smaller than the Manix. 
And now if you want to line up the pivots, I think the blade length is just a tad longer than the Manix. But then, then just the Manix is winning on uh, handle length. So there you go. I mean, that kind of gives you a little bit of a comparison. This is very EDCable because, you know, the Manix is your kind of my standard to for EDC. You know, real, this is real light, easy carry, uh, but not always what I want to carry. Uh, this is very light as well, okay? So this is a really good option and you can throw it on a belt. So if you're wearing cargo shorts and you got some leather belt, you know, on there, you could just throw this on there and it's still very light. I mean, uh, well, let's do something here. Slide it in here. Let's weigh the whole package together. I mean, if you're not going to carry it with a pocket clip, then, then the entire weight makes some kind of difference. 4.4. So even with this nice, heavy, leather, well-made sheath, 4.4. That's not much. That's pretty light. Wow. But no, I really like this leather sheath. I'm pretty impressed with that. Good quality stuff. Well, Italians and leather. I mean, come on, man. Deploys great. Love those washers. Uh, you know, one thing I found, I mean, you, okay, a couple of, you know, small bitches on this knife. Yeah, uh, you're not getting much of a cutout here, so you can get your 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 thumb under that disc if you wanted to deploy it like straight out you kind of can but it's more of a back and out at an angle but it deploys really well and this knife loosened up pretty quick once i got it and started uh, messing with it at first i couldn't even flick it i had to just open it like this but those those bronze washers whatever they are yeah they got nice and you know there's no blade play here no lock rock, nothing there. Okay. Centered up just fine. Quality piece. Whoops. Come on. Good playing around. So that kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. Well, is it sharp? Can it cut a piece of it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Wow. Ooh. Oh, my God. It makes, oh, just the weight of the blade. Oh, my God. Okay. Never mind. Whew. Wow, that's impressive. That's one of the sharpest, uh, that's one of the sharpest blades I've had my hands on coming from the factory uh, in a long time. Wow, that makes you look good. Wow. Great, it would be great slicer, and you know, it's not a flipper, so you don't have to worry about the flipper tab hanging way down here and giving you like a cutting angle like this. You're right there. You got a little, you know, just a little. Okay, so bitch and moan. What's the bitch and moan? The bitch and moan, yeah, the thumb disc. And I guess they were saying that you could take this thumb disc off for people who live in countries where it has to be a two-handed knife. You know, so you grab it like that and open it and close it if you want to take that off. Okay, get that. Um, the, um, oh God. The other thing is, yeah, um, there's not much here to prevent you from sliding down onto the blade. But I mean, that's just, this is a gentleman's knife. This is not made for you to go out in the yard and do real heavy cutting. I mean, not that it won't cut, but I mean, so this is not your, what you put work gloves on and grab you a heavy pocket knife to go cut down a whole bunch of cardboard boxes and stuff. This is, no, it's a little more classy carry than that. So no, um, so I understand that, but I'm just saying, be aware that no, you don't have the big old guard down here or thumb ramp up here to, to, 
to get with big choil or anything here no but can you sharpen this knife yeah i think it'd be pretty easy to sharpen i don't think that thumb disc would i mean i've sharpened uh, knives with uh you know thumb studs on them and never had to take the thumb studs off to get to the you know your angle with the stones so no this would be real easy to sharpen i think yeah so you know the thumb disc yeah you don't have a lot but i think they're sacrificing a lot for style for design here i think that that was their their thinking check this out see this pass through here you've got a little bit of a pass through and you've got some jimping on the liner to disengage this liner and it it does it pretty well that would be my other little niggle is maybe a little bit more of a cutaway so that you don't have to dig so much for the liner to disengage it on the other hand if i truly had my wish come true i'm not sure i'd be happy with that either because you know it's about the overall design and the handsome looks with the wood scales this the satin blade uh just the beauty of the knife overall I, I i like it the way it is and for being what it's supposed to be which is a gentleman's folder in my book um and a nice edc carry knife that will do what you want with it um yes i, I you know yes i'm good with this i really like this actually i'm starting to like this a lot more um good good choice you really was a good choice uh i wouldn't have who to thunk you know i wouldn't have and i know you know they're out there and there's other reviews on this knife but it didn't come to my attention this is not like where i focus and i know i've seen this knife before but just kind of you know skimmed over it there's so much out there and you know put it in your hands and feel this light it's not bad that it has that little sheath. I have a belt on when I wear, you know, whatever I wear. So there's not many things uh, where I don't have a belt. And really, this is not that much to have to lug around. It's 4.4 ounces overall. And it is a very attractive sheath. And, you know, I haven't really carried many knives. I mean, I have a buck 110. You know, you can get the, that sheath and that comes with it and... Put that on your belt i don't lug those around very often but you know what this is this is different this is different all right hey i've worn you out but there you go uh the 515w fox knives terzola design pretty knife really really attractive thanks for joining me hey subscribe to my channel that way you keep up on the new uh, videos that are coming out. At least you get to see what's coming out, whether you really want to watch it or not, then you can pick and choose. Also, if you're a subscriber, since we're not far away from doing a giveaway, you will be qualified to win because subscribers are the only ones allowed to actually win prizes on my giveaways. And there's going to be some good stuff. And we're coming up on 4,500 sub, uh, subscribers. So that there will be a giveaway for that. When we come up on 5,000, when and if that happens someday, that will be a much bigger celebration. But 4,500, we're going to have some good stuff. Take care, my friends. Follow me on Instagram. Link in the description box below. Also got a link to this knife and, uh, you know, Several links to the Terzola uh, Fox Knives in the description section below. And you know what we do. We love them knives. Yes, we do. So stay sharp. <laughs>